I think you'd honestly be so surprised at how many more people are willing to listen to what you have to say or give your way of thinking and your belief system a chance if you approach it from a place of love and understanding and kindness and compassion rather than from a place of judgment and ostracization and condemnation. It's crazy how people think that that kind of behavior will actually speak to somebody or make a difference in somebody's life when really it's just going to push them away. They're going to immediately go into defense mode and shut down to anything that you're trying to tell them. And they're already going to start thinking up arguments because you're not coming from a place of love and a place where they think they'll be heard. They're coming from a place, you're making them feel like you're coming from a place where you're judging them and their decisions. If you really want somebody to listen to you or hear you out, you have to lead with love. If you want people to adopt the same way of thinking or system as of beliefs as you, the best way to entice those things is to be a living, breathing example of those things. So instead of trying to tell people who you are and why you are the way you are, just be who you are. Let them come to you. Let them see, oh wow, this person seems really calm and at peace and wise or whatever it is that is appealing to others if you, you don't need to worry about what others are thinking and doing in the first place you just need to worry about how you feel and what you think and hopefully your belief systems project enough positivity that people will attract to that and they'll think whatever she's on i want some of that or i don't know I just need to know more about this person. Tell me, what do you do to to be happy, to be calm, to be humble? Like, what is it? I need to know. They will come to you. If you, if you just live your life in a way that represents your beliefs and what you stand for, you don't have to drive them down people's throats. You don't have to argue them against others. They'll come to you to find out more, to ask questions and things. That's how you lead with love. That's how you live by example. And that's the most effective route to go if you want people to be on the same page as you. Through love, anything is possible. And through love, all things can grow. So the only way to plant a seed of consciousness or an idea in someone else's mind that you think might be beneficial is through love and nurturing, not through defensiveness, argumentation, or ost ostracization. So just keep that in mind next time you're engaging with others about your beliefs and ideas and things.